Hello science people. Today I want to talk to you about something that could be a little confusing. I want to talk to you about the difference between chromatin, chromosomes, chromatids, and DNA. Let's get started breaking these words down. The first one, chromatin. Chromatin is the normal state of DNA inside your nucleus. Now, a lot of people think that our DNA is always in the shape of chromosomes. Why do people think this? Well, because we always talk about chromosomes. When we talk about human cells, we talk about humans having 46 chromosomes. So because we talk about humans having 46 chromosomes, we have this impression that inside our nucleus is always chromosomes, but that's not the case. A chromosome is your DNA wound up into a tight little package, and that's not the normal state of your DNA. The normal state of your DNA is unwound in a big pile, and we call that chromatin. So normally, if you were to look at a normal cell living its life, you would find in the nucleus all of the DNA all unwound and just in a big pile, and we call that chromatin. Okay, so chromatin is unwound DNA sitting in the nucleus, chromatin. The next one, which I just kind of talked about, is chromosomes. So that chromatin, when it's time for cell division, when your cells are going to divide, your cells start condensing its DNA. So inside the nucleus, the DNA will become condensed into a tight little package called a chromosome. So chromosomes are only for the purpose of cell division. So when a cell is going to divide, when it's gonna split, when it's going to replicate, it'll take its DNA, condense it into chromosomes. Now, why do this? Well, I like to give this example to my students. If I had a big pile of yarn, just all unwound, and I handed it to a student and I said, quick, give me exactly half of this, it would be really hard to do. But if I had that yarn all wound up perfectly into two little balls and I gave them both to the student and said, quick, give me half of this, they would just hand me one ball of yarn. And so our cells take the DNA, condense it into chromosomes so it's much easier to divide. Because if a mistake happens during cell division, lots of problems could arise. It could be cancer. If it's a, gonna be a gametic cell, it could end up with birth defects. All kinds of problems can happen if DNA is not divided right when it comes to cell division. So a chromosome is a condensed version of DNA in order to help for cell division. So why is it that we always talk about chromosomes? Well, because it's easy for cell division, it's also easy for us to talk about because we can see them easier. So when it's all condensed into chromosomes, visually, we can see it. Okay, so again, chromatin is unwound DNA. Chromosomes is the DNA condensed into a package ready for cell division. Okay, so what's a chromatid? All right, well, when we have the chromosomes all condensed ready for cell division, before cells can divide, they have to copy all of their DNA. And so every chromosome has to copy itself. And so while the chromosome is copying itself, there's two exact copies connected to each other. We call each of those a chromatid. So a copied, or we call it duplicated, a duplicated chromosome has two sister chromatids. We call them sister chromatids, so it's chromatids. We don't call them two chromosomes yet because they have not split, but when they're still connected, we call them chromatids. So you have your DNA that gets wound up into a chromosome, then it divides, it copies itself, and then we have chromatids, and then during the process of mitosis, those chromatids will get separated back into separate chromosomes. Okay, so again, we have chromatin, the normal state of DNA. The chromatin condenses into a chromosome. It then duplicates itself into two chromatids. Those chromatids get divided into separate chromosomes during mitosis or meiosis. And then they will split into cell division and now you have two cells. Now once cell division happens, the chromosomes get uncondensed back into chromatin, and that is how they will stay in their normal life. 
So if you have a cell that's never gonna go through cell division, it just always has chromatin. It never gets chromosomes because there's no reason to condense your chromosomes or no reason to condense your DNA. Okay, so hopefully I've helped you with the difference between chromatin, chromosomes, and chromatids. Okay, so then what's DNA? Well, all of that is DNA, right? We have a different number of DNA strands. All right, so how many strands of DNA do we have? Well, one chromosome is one strand of DNA. So humans have 46 DNA strands. And so you have this whole strand of DNA, and when it's chromatin, all the strands are just kind of laying there, all unwound. And when you have a chromosome, each strand condenses itself into a chromosome. So each chromosome is made up of one strand of DNA. So we have 46 different strands of DNA, and we call all of this just DNA. All right, well, hopefully I've helped you kind of get a visualization and clear up a little bit the difference between chromatin, chromosomes, chromatids, and just DNA. All right, I'll see you guys next time.